Bonzo needs to attack more. And before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe button right there. Subscribe right now and smack that like button. It'll help me. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Let's get into the video. I'm not saying that Lonzo Ball has to do Kyrie Irving, Derrick Rose, Dan Miller type layup, up and under, under the basket, behind your back, close your eyes, all that. Some players are at a disadvantage because they are 6'3 and under and they're not athletic and as strong as Lonzo Ball is. So he doesn't have to do all that. He just have to be powerful and aggressive, going to the rim and go with conviction. I'm not asking him to reinvent his ball game and ball like Michael Jordan in the layup line. Just be more aggressive. <laughs> Before y'all think I'm hating on Lonzo, Lonzo's my favorite player in the NBA, so there's no hate. I'm glad how he's starting this season, you know, He's putting up good numbers, he's shooting the ball well, he's seeing his free throws, he's playing good defense, he's distributing the ball, making his teammates better. But the one thing that's missing from his game is he needs to attack the lane. Like just off four games, everything from the from a basketball standpoint, he's improved on. Shooting the ball, reworked his jump shot, free throws. Defense always been good, and his playmaking has always been good. But his playmaking can get way better if he attacks the defense. Ball. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna give you examples. Say him and the center, Derek Favors, somebody else is in the pick and roll. Lonzo most likely will pass out the pass out the pick and roll. You know what I'm saying? Or he'll do a step back off the pick and roll. He won't attack the defense and get the mismatch because he's 6'6, so he can attack the hole and get the layup. He'll most likely pass, and teams are looking at that because he's been doing it for two years straight. Now, last year he was doing this and the year before because he was a horrible free throw shooter. And I get that. You know what I'm saying? Mentally, if you attack the lane, even if you don't make the layup, you're going to the free throw line. And Lonzo can go 0 for 2, uh, 0 1, oh, that's 1 for 2, stuff like that. Making his free throw percentage bad, teams booing him, stuff like that. Lonzo is making his threes this year. Like, every game but one game, he was 0 for 2. He made 2 for 2, 2 for 2, and 2 for 2 from the free throw line. Saying he's an 85% free throw shooter, you know what I'm saying? But he can hit those free throws, so he should have the confidence to attack the lane because he was attacking the lane in college, especially off the mismatch, off the fact that he was a 6'6 fast point guard and now he gained some muscle in the NBA. The team he faced last time, last night, D'Angelo Russell and the Warriors, he can attack both of those because they're little 6'3 Curry and 6'5 D Lo. But D'Lo is not as strong and as quick as Lonzo Ball is. We saw Lonzo hit some mid-range jumpers off the pick and roll. Like, I thought he would never even shoot mid-range jumpers. It's not that big of a flaw because the teams don't shoot mid-range jumpers anymore. But he doesn't do a floater. He doesn't attack the lane. And when he does attack the lane, he always does an off arm. And that's usually an offensive foul. So I'm not hating on Lonzo. Lonzo's having some good numbers. I mean, he's scoring a little bit, you know, around 13 a game. He's passing the ball. He's rebounding. He's playing good defense. But he needs to attack the lane. You know what I'm saying? He worked on his floater a little bit this summer, a little bit, because he did have to rehab. So at least he can get to the rim at will. If you ever watch Lonzo's ball game, he can get to the rim at will. It's not like he's too skinny or too slow, too athletic to get to the rim. He gets there. It's just the fact that he doesn't finish or his shot always get blocked. Anytime time he does go to the rim, is off of a fast break when the team is not back and he gets blocked by like three people because nobody's back on defense and everybody is contesting Lonzo's shot. He had spurts like this last year. He was just finishing at the rim, dunking on folks, everything. But he needs to get in that motion of attacking the rim because he can't settle of being a straight jump shooter off the pink road because your shot can be off some games. And the thing to get your shot back in the game is free throws and attacking the rim. I'm not asking him to have a Chris Paul, Steph Curry, Mike Conley floater, but the thing he has, the thing he has over them as an advantage is he's more athletic than both of those, and he's six six. In fact, how many point guards in this league that are six six that can hang with you, Lonzo, defensively? Probably like three or four. They can hang with you. You're more athletic than them. And if they're more athletic, just pop back and then shoot the three point. The three pointer shouldn't be Lonzo's first resort in most situations. Even though he's hitting the shot, you never want to live and die by the three-pointer, as you've seen from the Rockets when they missed 27 straight just off their analytical game. You want to get in the lane, keep the defense honest of what you're about to do, not just shoot off the three and do all that stuff. Lonzo has improved in every aspect of his game, only in the first four games of the season, so no telling when you get the more practice, you get the chemistry with your teammates, he's going to improve more and get his legs up under him. Overall, Lonzo's been playing well. He can, he's in the candidacy of winning most improved player with Brandon Ingram, who's lighting it up. I got a video about him. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.